Hey friends, it's Sarah. Welcome to or back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new here, we start the videos off with a hug if you want it. So bring it in. And a forehead kiss Mwah! for you. I just kind of fell. I've been doing ballet recently and my legs are so sore. <sighs> okay, so today's kind of a fun video. Today, I am going to be showing you how I took my hair from this to this using Dollar Tree hair products. Not only Dollar Tree hair products, but cruelty-free Dollar Tree hair products, which is so exciting for me. I am like really trying to move out of my parents' house, so I'm trying to save money, but I really never want to skimp on not being cruelty-free. So I challenged myself to find a full hair care routine at the Dollar Tree, and as you can see, I did it, not that bad. So, if you wanna see how I styled my hair on this wash day using cruelty-free Dollar Tree products, then keep on watching. Before we get into the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. It would mean the world to me. Give this video a thumbs up if you like my face or you like my vibe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you have nothing else to do, and let's jump into it. So, as I mentioned, I am on a quest to save money to move out of my parents' house. But the one thing that I will not skimp on is my values and my morals. And for me, I always like to buy cruelty free. So I just wanted to give you a little tip in case you are new on this cruelty free journey. It can be kind of confusing when you're first starting out. I wanted to give you a little tip and a little resource to help you on your journey. So this is an app called Cruelty Cutter. It's free on the Apple iTunes app store. And what's really great about it is it has the scan button where you can scan any barcode. So what you can do is you can scan any product. This is the hair gel that I will be sharing with you. Put the barcode in there and then it will show you that, oh my gosh, it's cruelty free or it's not cruelty free. Um, sometimes it says just right on the bottle. For example, if it has this little bunny sign, it means it's PETA certified cruelty free. And then sometimes they don't put it on the bottle for some reason. So you can use an app like Cruelty Cutter to double check. So I went to my Dollar Tree to see if I could find any cruelty free products and I was pleasantly surprised by how many freaking options they had. The Dollar Tree I went to wasn't my usual hangout spot if you will. It was a bigger Dollar Tree and they had so many selections and so many of their products there were cruelty free which is really exciting to me so let me go ahead and show you what I picked up. So the shampoo I picked up is the Daily Defense Moisturizing Shampoo with Argan Oil. Looks like this. And as I showed you, it has the cruelty-free symbol right back here. So that made that super easy. Um, it says naturally inspired benefits enriched with argan oil. And it also says low sulfate. So one thing about if you follow the curly girl method, some people with textured hair do, some people with textured hair don't. I'm not too big on it. I don't like rules, so... But this is the one that I do try to stick to. It is avoiding SLS, which is sodium lauryl sulfate. And the second ingredient on here is sodium lauryl sulfate. You can go ahead and pause the screen if you want to read the ingredients. All of the shampoos that I did try and look for, the cruelty-free ones, had SLS in them. So keep that in mind. It is a pretty harsh detergent. It can be drying over time. But I wanted to challenge myself and you'll see what I thought about it a little later. For my conditioner, I went ahead and picked up the Power Stick for her Pure Sulfate Free Color Protection with Coconut Oil and Geranium Oil Strengthen and Repair Conditioner. <sighs> Looks like this. Really cute packaging, kind of reminds me of Bath and Body Works. And an amazing thing here is they have all these goodies listed. So it's like sulfate free, paraben free, vegan, cruelty free all the good stuff so that made it super easy and it smells really good but let's see if it works for my leave-in conditioner this was a brand that they had a lot of options in this is the salon selectives instant repair leave-in conditioner with brazilian keratin oil and again they have the little bunny sign on the back which is awesome and makes my job super easy if you watch my wavy hair wash day routine, you know that I'm a gel girl all the way. That's my preferred styler. So for gel, I picked up the LA Lux Extreme Sport Hold Plus 10 Level Alcohol Free Hair Gel. Oh my God, it matches my shirt. Mm, so cute. 
This one did not say that it was cruelty free on the back, so I did have to scan it, but it came up as cruelty free, so that is really great. So yeah, we will see how this does. And then to scrunch out the crunch, I do like to use a hair oil of some sort. So this is also from the brand Salon Selectives. This is uh, the Coconut and Shea Nourishing Hair Oil. Ooh la la, and it's also cruelty free, which is so amazing. It, it made me really happy because I don't necessarily associate Dollar Tree with being, you know, more, I don't want this to sound bad, but like, you don't really expect to find like cruelty free vegan stuff at the Dollar Tree, you know what I mean? So I was really happy that they had a really decent range of cruelty free items. So thumbs up to you, Dollar Tree. Keep doing what you're doing. All right, let's go ahead and hop in the shower and see how these products work. And let's style my hair, shall we? I'll see you in the shower. Alrighty, hello friends, we are in the shower. Gonna get my hair nice and wet before we go ahead and shampoo. Ah, yes. <laughs> All right, so today I'm gonna to be trying out the Daily Defense Shampoo from the Dollar Tree with argan oil. And of course it is cruelty free, which is amazing. First impressions, this is the strangest texture of a shampoo that I have ever seen. Once I got it wet, it like low key disappeared, as you can see. Like where, where did she go? So I tried to add some more. And look how thick. <laughs> that is so strange to me. So I tried to really work it into my hair, but it just wasn't, it wasn't working. I went ahead and tried to use it with my shampoo brush and it was just, it was not it, sis. It did not feel like it was doing anything. It wasn't sudsing up at all. So I went ahead and rinsed it out. Now we're going to try the conditioner that I was obviously skeptical about. A sulfate free color protection conditioner from the Dollar Tree, cruelty free, vegan, paraben free. Pretty impressive for $1, but let's see how it works. It smell pretty good. Pretty normal texture in comparison to the shampoo. Getting a little hot and steamy as you can see. So I'm just raking this through my hair, debating if I like it. So far so good. And then what I do is I scrunch my conditioner into my hair, also known as squish to condish, if you will. This just helps the curls start to form and really get your conditioner into the cuticle. Not that bad. I'm gonna go ahead and wait five minutes and then rinse it out when I'm back. Ooh. All right, so this is what my hair looked like after five minutes. Definitely, you know, not straight, but not super as wavy, curly as it normally is. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in this unfocused <laughs> Salon Selectives leave-in conditioner again from the Dollar Tree. This one has keratin in it, which is great. And PETA certified cruelty-free, which is dope. Let's see how it goes. Pretty average consistency again. The only strange one so far out of the bunch has been that weird ass shampoo. It smells okay. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and smooth it over my hair. And then we're gonna begin scrunching that into my hair to help the curls and waves get some definition. And as you can see, kind of not that bad. All right, I picked up this microfiber hair towel from the Dollar Tree, and I just wanted to show you how much of a fail it was. It is so tiny. <laughs> I have a lot of hair, but it's not that long, and I could barely fit it, and it was so tight, like I couldn't find <laughs> the button. It was not it, as you can see, but she's cute. <laughs> All right, after I did my skincare, it's time to take out my hair towel and do the styling. So this is where we're at. 
I'm gonna go ahead and use this LA Colors, or excuse me, LA Looks Extreme Sport Gel. And we'll see how she works. She smells pretty decent. Nothing too special. As you know, I like a lot of gel. My waves tend to fall out pretty easily, so the more gel, the merrier to me. Go ahead and flip your hair over, coat your hair with the gel, and then every curly girl's favorite motion is the scrunch. As you can see, I was a little surprised. I mean, she's kind of defined. And you just keep scrunching all around your head. Keep on going. And this is the results and my dry lips. <laughs> After scrunching for a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and let this dry and see what happens. Many hours later. And five hours later, these are my unscrunched out results using Dollar Tree hair products. Go ahead and give you a little close up before we do the finishing touches. First impressions. I don't think it looks that bad. The one thing that I'm having an issue with is the smell. These products low key made my hair smell like chlorine and that's a little bit concerning to me. Um, I think it looks like how my hair normally looks, but the smell is definitely strange. So I will put that out there. As a final touch, I'm gonna go ahead and scrunch out the crunch, scrunch out the gel in my hair using the Salon Selectives Coconut and Shea Nourishing Hair Oil. And again, this is PETA certified cruelty free. I will give Dollar Tree a big round of applause for carrying so many cruelty free products. I think it's really awesome. I was not expecting that. So let's see how this goes. Hopefully, Semi well. It's so liquidy. Do you see that? It's like water. Imagine it's literally just water. It doesn't smell like it though. It smells like coconut, I would say. Alright, friends, you know the drill by now. We're gonna scrunch the crunch out using a little bit of the oil. I don't know how much to use, so let's start with. Oh, she's kind of thick actually. That much, maybe? We'll start with that much. You know the drill by now. Flip your hair over, scrunch out the crunch. It did create quite a nice, oh, this actually smells really good. Okay, definition. I'm not seeing a whole lot of like white flakes coming from the gel, so that's pretty nice. It's very crunchy. What? Wait a minute, I'm a little shook. I'm a little shook. Okay, for Dollar Tree, come on. This kind of looks better than my hair normally does. And maybe this oil will help fix the weird smell that's going on. Also, my hair is dramatically fading. I did dye it red during, I don't know, phase three of quarantine. What freaking phase are we on now? <laughs> but it's kind of fading to like this coppery color, which I kind of like. Is this working? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> These are my final results using Dollar Tree hair products. I did not decide to zhuzh my hair because I think zhuzhing it is making my hair quite frizzy lately. So I'm gonna leave it like that. You can see that there is some frizz, which, you know, is to be expected. You know what? I'm not mad about the results. Let's go ahead and talk product reviews, what I would recommend, what I would not recommend. Starting out with the Daily Defense shampoo, it's a no for me. This was like, Jello water? You saw how it came out when I was in the shower. It was so thick, but then when I put it under the water and tried to emulsify it in my hands, it just disappeared. Um, so I don't think this did anything. My hair doesn't necessarily feel clean, but it also doesn't feel clean. It didn't leave my hair like squeaky clean, do you know what I mean? But it also didn't really feel like it did anything. There was a lot of other cruelty-free brands there, I wouldn't pick this one up. The consistency is very strange to me. So pass for me, but who knows, maybe it'll work for you. Okay, then we have the Power Stick for Her Pure Sulfate Free Color Protection Strengthen and Repair Conditioner. 
I might actually use this up. First of all, I know this has nothing to do with the product, but the packaging is so pretty to me. I'm kind of a really big fan. Um, it's sulfate-free, paraben-free, vegan, phthalate-free, dye-free, so I'm pretty sure this is Curly Girl approved. Don't quote me on that. It has coconut oil in it, but I kind of think that this is a pretty decent conditioner. They did have a shampoo, but it was a like blonde toning shampoo, so I did not pick that up because obviously I'm not blonde, but if you could find the matching shampoo for this, I think it might work pretty well. So I'm definitely gonna keep this, I'm gonna use it up. Yeah, maybe it was the shampoo that gave me the chlorine smell, but yeah, I would give this a thumbs up. I'm like not mad at this at all. Next we have the Salon Selectives Hydrate and Shine Leave-In Conditioner, Brazilian Keratin Oil. Again, you already know the drill, cruelty-free. This was okay, Um, I don't, I mean, I wouldn't repurchase it. I don't think I would repurchase any of these products. Um, this was just like, meh. I, I mean, I really like my Olaplex one, and that's definitely not Dollar Tree friendly. But if you need to go to the Dollar Tree for hair products, check this one out. It's, you know, it does the job. Okay, next we have the LA Looks Extreme Sport Hold 10 Plus Level Alcohol Free Hair Gel. Again, it's okay. I was surprised with this one because when I was scrunching up the crunch, there wasn't white flakes coming out of my hair, which was pretty nice. I think it did a good job creating a gel cast. My hair's not like uber defined, obviously, like what happened here, I don't know. It's not bad, but it's not great. But again, if you are at the Dollar Tree and you're looking for a gel and you're like, I don't know which one to get, Try this one out, not bad, does the job. And last but not least, we have the Salon Selectives. They have a lot of different products in this line, so definitely check them out. They're obviously cruelty-free and they're obviously a dollar, so that's pretty great. Um, the Nourishing Hair Oil, again, it's okay. It's pretty thick, but it doesn't feel like it's weighing my hair down, really. But again, I think I prefer my Olaplex. But like, if you're trying to ball on a budget, you can get a hair oil for a dollar, which is pretty dope, so. And then the only other thing that I wanted to review is that dang microfiber hair towel that you saw me use in the shower was so small. I could barely fit my hair in it. I have a lot of hair, but it's obviously not super long, so I don't know whose hair is supposed to fit in there, but just beware. If you have like longer hair than me, it ain't gonna fit. Alrighty friends, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and comment down below what kind of curly hair, wavy hair challenge I should embark on next. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, it would mean the world to me. Give this video a thumbs up, follow me on Instagram or TikTok or neither or both, whatever you wanna do or don't wanna do. And I will see you in the next video.